My name is Costa Sebastian. Before I filmed this video, I bought a couple of apples. They came in this carrier bag. So I used the bag to transport the apples for less than three minutes, and then it became rubbish to be thrown into the bin. But this is not the end of the story. I want to tell you what happens next. If I drop this bag, or even put it in the bin, it could find its way into the rivers or eventually to the sea. This is why our marine ecosystems are becoming the planet's waste dump. Although nobody wants this situation, it is getting worse, harming all kinds of wildlife. It's not just bags. Plastic bottles, cigarette butts, fishing equipment, food wraps. Most of these items are getting in our seas as well. A wide range of animals are ingesting this waste. For example, a study of fulmers in the North Sea found that 95% of them had plastic in their stomachs, with around 35 pieces on average. This can eventually kill birds. Wildlife can also become tangled in things like this, that can suffocate, strangle or kill them. The situation is getting worse. When I was a kid, I remembered the beaches after a storm being covered with algae and pieces of wood. Today, the situation is different. We should also remember that the litter on the beach is only the tip of the iceberg. Most of it is out of sea or even on the seabed. Surprisingly, most of marine litter does not come from boats or beachgoers, but originates inland, sometimes far from the coast. While we use bags for a short time, their effect on the environment lasts much longer. Imagine they had plastic in the Renaissance. We would still be dealing with their plastic weight in our seas today. Nonetheless, in less than a century of throwaway plastic, we have created a big problem. This waste is now accumulating in five major areas in our oceans. In the Pacific, this floating waste dump is roughly twice the size of the United States. At the end of the day, tackling marine litter means preventing it from ending up in our seas. And this starts with choices in our everyday life. For instance, you can reject single-use plastic bags. Instead, you could use a reusable bag, like this one, when you go shopping. You can also try to avoid plastic packaging or single-use bottles, like this one. You can also volunteer to help clean up your beach or monitor the litter in it. If you use the EA mobile app to record the litter you find, you can help us learn more about the problem. There's a growing community of people working to solve this problem. Come and join us. In a strange way, what we throw into the sea can come back to harm us. Plastic debris can accumulate toxins. Fish can eat this material. So when the fish ends up in our plate, they may include tiny toxic particles of plastic. We're only starting to understand this problem, but it could be quite serious. In Portugal, where I come from, we eat a lot of fish. Our national dish is bacalhau, or codfish. But it wouldn't seem so appetizing if it contained pieces of plastic like this. 